Welcome everyone to Werewolf the Apocalypse, Heart of the Forest. I'll be playing this time, but Tammy will be reading to her dismise. Dismise? Yeah. Well, that's just pretty simple rules for control. Start the chapter. Prologue Premonition. Tutorial! This game is about rage and how it helps us do things that we need that need to get done that we later regret. Sometimes both. How do you feel about that? I'm going to go towards a more <clears throat> um, logical way in this one. So I'll be using a lot more willpower. Your rage is low. So, you're the observant and cutting type. That's okay. Uh, there's no right path here, just your decisions and their consequences. I guess I should really say what I'm actually picking. I'm already on the right path, I'm going spiritual. The forest. The woods are full of stars. They flicker, come closer, run away. Uh, they want me to chase them, to play hide and seek. Do you observe or hide? Um, I observe. They watch, uh, I watch as they dance around the tree trunks, float up on the gusts of wind, and shiver through the branches, disappear among the leaves. Uh, there are words in their dance, but I don't understand them. Not yet. Then they bunch up and fly towards me like an arrow, rushing down... They're soon upon me. Uh, but just before the spear of light pierces my breast, they disappear and the dark of the night returns. Due to low rage, in the darkness the spirits uh, keeping the forest alive whisper about the enemy. I begin to move, unnoticed, one with the night. And then I woke up. Cold and alone. Confused, I open my eyes. The forest around me is thick, dark, and reeks of decay to such an extent that it's hard to breathe. Does it fascinate you? Do you recognize the forest? Or do you ask, why am I here? I'm going to recognize the forest. I recognize the for this forest. I know this place. I've been dreaming about this forest since I was a child. The tree trunks wrapped tightly around, uh, tightly in dark leafed ivy are covered in a ripple of lichen uh, where the vines haven't taken hold. The thorny leafless bushes at the base uh, are overrun with nettles. The fungi radiate with a ghoulish sickly green light. Dark sponge-like mushrooms cling to the fallen trees. Do you try to breathe? Do you say I'm cold? Or something is rotten? I'm gonna try to breathe. I'm gonna go that one. I take a deep breath and suddenly realize that it's not the forest that smells so foul. It's me. I look down and see my hands covered in a dark substance. I'm naked. A sticky glistening film of liquid is clinging to my skin. I can feel it on my face, in my hair. Blood. Are you alert or do you hide? I'm alert. Raising up that spirit. Yeah. Uh, nature is never quiet. The leaves rustle in the wind. Small creatures scuttle in the undergrowth. There is a whisper. I don't understand what it means, but the word resonates in my head. Garu. Uh, who is that? There is a severed head in the, on the ground in front of me. Some choices are hard to make, and they strain your willpower. Do you wince and touch it, or are you going to be sick? I'm gonna go. To... Oh, I think I'm gonna go with the the. I wince and touch it. I I don't really think I'm gonna be sick either, but we're gonna go with this one. Overcoming my disgust, I gently touch, uh, its wet hair and watch, uh, as the head topples over due to low rage. The face is contorted, eyes, the eyes bulging, the mouth open. As though the head were still struggling for air, I look at it and start to laugh. 
and then my eyes then eyes open in the darkness the enemy or who is it who is it uh, I can see their silhouettes shades of jet black against the darkness they smell of fur and moss and bloodied earth uh, massive creatures uh, some with horns some with antlers uh, their eyes burn like small fiery windows into hell I look at them and something uh, uh, wakes inside me defiance or panic defiance so low rage uh, they tell me stories of their lost battles and dying hopes and I say no I tell them my story uh, my stories of the enemy and how they are so stupid so clueless that they that we almost feel pity as we kill them they listen and laugh I laugh with them in a moment of clarity I almost understand what the forest wants from me and then I wake up again 